New at 6.30, a small STEM school in Bixby is getting some major attention. Its students recently won state in the Army's e-cyber mission competition. New at 6.30, Fox 23's Alexa Mostrom spoke with them today and joins us live. Alexa, these students win a lot of competitions. <laughs> Yes, actually, since the school opened in 2016, the students have won over a quarter of a million dollars in prize money through various competitions. Inventions can be found all throughout the Oklahoma School of Innovation and Experiential Learning in Bixby. Recently, the school had a couple of groups of students win first place in state for the Army's e-cyber mission competition. Lane Johnson and Noah Muhlenberg competed in the seventh grade group. They created a device that detects conditions for mold. It will stop the mold growth before it starts, so this is never a problem in the first place. Johnson and Muhlenberg created the device because of how dangerous mold can be. And the reason that it's so important is because mold is a very serious health hazard, causing breathing emergencies, asthma attacks, even hair loss. So we wanted to do something about this. What are you working on? Jason Arendt is the founder and director of the school. He says the school practices a non-traditional style of learning. What we do is we form the education around the student and um, while still meeting the requirements of the state. The students can focus projects around what they find most interesting. A lot of them focus on science and technology. They, they come to school and they want to learn. It's not like, oh, I've got to go to school. The school has 32 students this year. Arendt keeps class sizes around 16 students. He says the teacher are all very proud of how successful the students have been so far. Very proud of the students, very proud because you know the the overall goal is to get the kids um, achieving what they define as success. Aaron pushes the students to do projects and competitions. He says this gives them good experience and connections for later. It's also the reason the students have won over a quarter of a million dollars in prize money since the school opened. A lot of it has been through our science and engineering competitions. Aaron says the students will continue to create new devices and compete in competition. Now, as we were leaving, the students were telling us about some projects and inventions that they're working on, and I've got to say, some of them were pretty impressive. Live covering news that matters, I'm Alexa Mostrom, Fox 23 News.